One of the really powerful features in Bitsport is the related items feature. This one is a little bit of a hidden treasure, but uh, once you know how it works, uh, I think you're gonna love it. So let me show you what it's all about. The related items feature inside Bitsport allows you to create custom games and learning experiences that are far more powerful uh, and really help kids learn new concepts much faster. Here's one board I've created called Word Families. Uh, if you play the photo touch game, you can notice that right now we're showing related words together. So here we have hat, intake, bake, and cake. These three words are obviously related to a different word family. Uh, and the way that we have done this is that in the game settings, right now we have said show the target word only with unrelated items. You can start out with unrelated items uh, to make games easier when kids are still struggling with the, com uh, with the concept. Uh, to help them really narrow it down, you can also change it to related. So in this case, you see four related words, cake, bake, take and lake and the user was asked to look for bake so there you go that is the related items feature and how it works in the photo touch game now how do you do that very simple when you edit a board you can mark items as related so when you select the bit and scroll down you can see here the related items so clearly cat, mad, hat, and bad are all part of the same word family. So they have been marked as related items. You can quickly go through uh, all of the list of bits in the board and mark them as related to each other. Uh, you can see that the related items are the items that you have starred. Uh, now, once you have done this, you can also take advantage of some other games in bits board that take advantage of the related items feature. An example is the odd one out game. Here, it asks you which one does not belong, and clearly bad, mad, and cat are related, so big is the item that does not belong. Another game that you can play is obviously the related items game. So here, it again asks you which items go together. Bad clearly goes with hat, so you can drag it over. Now take goes with either bake or cake, and it will. the system is smart enough to accept either one as the answer if you have marked all of the items as related. So there you have it. Uh, that's a little overview of the related items feature. Now there's one more cool thing that you can do in Bitspo to very quickly create powerful boards of related items. And the way that works is you can create mini boards such as an example is here I have a board with just blue items you can see that here and a board with just red items. Now if I want to create a related items game for colors for example I can say okay create a new board uh, by combining two existing boards and when I do that it asks me would you like to to have us automatically mark the items within each board as related, I say of course yes, because all the blue items are related to each other and all the red items are related to each other. So when I create, click yes, now I just have to give the board a new name so I can say um, learn colors. I, this board is immediately playable. So let's go back here to the learn colors board which I've just created. And you can see here that uh, when you play Photo Touch now, see, it just shows you all of the blue items which the system knows are related. And it asks you only for a specific red item. You can also again change the setting and say, okay, only show the unrelated items. So now it will only show one blue item and all the red items. Of course you can do this with many more uh, colors. This, was, this is just an example. The other games, the odd one out game, of course will also work. You can see that here. Once again, it asks you which one does not belong and clearly it's the one with a different color. 
Uh, the possibilities are really endless. We've only just scratched the surface. Uh, but I hope this gives you a better understanding for how you can use the related items feature to create some really exciting learning activities and games for your kids and students. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.